eight, this batting stance guy, and if you didn't watch baseball this week, here's what you missed. A humongous trade from the Dodgers to the Red Sox. $260 million worth of Red Sox going to the Dodgers for a bunch of other people. Hey, here's the thing. One thing's for sure, I don't understand the waiver trading deadline. There's a trading deadline that's July 31st. Well, somehow, Carl Crawford and Adrian Gonzalez went over to the Dodgers. How does that work? Nobody knows. What I do know is a bunch of really important players were moved in August. In fact, some guys made the World Series and their teams were better for it. Remember the Rangers back in 2010? Got Frenchy, Jeff Francoeur, also uh, Larry Walker. The Cardinals have done it a couple of times. In 04, they got Walker in August. So a bunch of teams passed on him somehow. Who knows how this thing works? All I know is that in 85, a player with a great stance at the end of his career Cesar Cedeno, he moved, he went to the Cardinals. And then we got some champions. For instance, Cody Ross, everyone in San Francisco remembers in 2010, the Marlins wanting to get rid of this guy just to bring up some other guys. And the Giants just didn't want the Padres to get him who they were trying to catch, so they blocked him and had to take him. Because I guess if you put in a waiver claim, the other team can just say, okay, you want him, you pay the rest of his salary. So we've got Cody Ross, who became a legend and hit a bunch of home runs off Doc Holliday. Speaking of the world champion Phillies pre-holiday, Matt Stairs went from the Blue Jays, much to the chagrin of Jonathan Broxton, and hit a really meaningful home run for the Phillies, and they won it all. Another one was in 2000, the Red Sox were like, who wants David Eckstein? He's little, he can't play. The Angels said, we'll take him. And a couple of years later, he was a World Series hero. Now some huge players moved teams in August, and I didn't know this till recently, that that famous Larry Anderson for Jeff Bagwell one netted the Astros Jeff Bagwell. That was a waiver deadline move. That was after the deadline. Also, uh, Moise Salou was traded for Zane Smith. The Pirates got rid of Alou when he went to the Expos. You've got Alex Rios, who basically the Blue Jays said, White Sox, we'll give him to you for nothing if you'll just pay his salary. And now he's back hitting over 300. He's one of the top 20 hitters of the season. Also, we've got Dale Murphy, Braves fans. That era ended, unfortunately for Murphy, a new awesome era of the Braves began when he left and Murphy went to the Phillies. You've got both Brian Giles and Jose Bautista were given up on by the Pirates in August. Then my favorite one of all time is definitely one trade that got two people together with great stances. The Oakland A's let Jose Canseco go to the Rangers, and in return, they got Ruben Sierra. And that was the greatest single August move ever because those two guys were involved. Hey, I'm gonna be on Intentional Talk on MLB Network on Tuesday. Please watch, it's a long season, but a great one, so stay tuned.